Hi, today we are going to discuss the topic is different notifications in LWC. Let's see what we are going to discuss as part of this. We have different notifications or we can display different notifications in LWC. Those are all alert models, confirm models and prompt models. These three models are these three notifications, these three notifications introduced recently by Salesforce in LWC. And toast notifications. Toast notifications, we already have multiple uh, examples, okay, uh, for a success message, for uh, error messages, or for warning messages. And when we talk about alert and confirm and prompt models, which are recently released, which are alternative to native functions, window.alert, window.confirm, window.prompt in JavaScript. And if you are already, if you are already getting the errors or issues with the native functions then you can use this alert models and confirm models and prompt models introduced by salesforce in lwc now now let's talk about alert model so here an alert model helps to halt users and communicate an urgent error that's affecting their system or feature or page so to display an alert model in lightning experience what we have to do we have to import lightning alert from the lightning alert module along with that once you import lightning alert from lightning alert module then you can call lightning alert dot open method with desired attributes to show the message and label and variant and theme in alert window or alert model and when we talk about confirm models so confirm model helps to ask users to respond before they continue to display a confirm model in lightning experience you just need to import lightning confirm from lightning confirm module and you have to call lightning confirm dot open method with your desired attributes same way you have another uh, model that is prompt model here so prompt model helps to ask users to provide information before they continue to display prompt model in lightning experience we just need to import lightning prompt from lightning prompt module and you can call lightning prompt dot open method with your desired attributes so here you have message and default value label and variant and theme we are going to have a simple example with simple buttons for all these kind of models okay and if you observe here there is no any difference or behavioral difference between the javascript native functions window.alert window.open window. i mean window.prompt and window.confirm and here lightning prompt and lightning uh, alert and lightning confirm right and lightning prompt but only the difference syntax is different and it supports chrome and safari browsers as well and these methods or these models are alternative to native functions now start using this now toast notifications what we have so we already had this is not new new functionality what we got recently okay this is this is from the beginning we already have this toast notification for showing the error message or warning message or info message to display a toast notification in lightning experience or experience builder you just need to import show toast event from lightning platform show toast event module so let's start our example with simple uh, buttons okay and import by importing lightning alert lightning prompt and lightning confirm right and show toast event let's see how we can do Now I am going to create an LWC component called display notifications. And one more thing, what we can do here, so these models returns the promise. Okay, it may be uh, then it may be other uh, um, promises like uh, async or await. Okay, based on that, what you can do when alert closes when prompt closes or when confirm uh, model closes if you want to execute some action you can do that okay anyway now let's start this display notifications is my component name let's save this and now 
I'm going to import multiple things here. The first JavaScript. See here, I'm importing lightning alert from lightning alert module and lightning confirm from lightning confirm module and lightning prompt from lightning prompt module. And after that, I'm importing show toast event from lightning platform show toast event. Now I have different methods here. One method for alert. So I'm defining a method handle alert click. Let's see what we are going to do here. Lightning alert open. This is the method. Right. And here I'm going to do different things. Let me show you. So here you have different attributes. See, this is the attributes. So variant headerless, that means without header, it gives you the alert model and success theme is success message will be this is alert message. Once user clicks on OK button, that means it opens the alert model. There you have OK button automatically. Then once user clicks on OK, what has to happen? Then you can define that in then promise. Then function, you can say. See here, this is how you can do that. Okay, let's go here and define our patterns as well. These are all buttons. One is handle alert click, handle confirm click, handle uh, prompt click and show toast notifications, right? So that means every button is invoking uh, different methods or different JavaScript functions when user click on that particular method. You have open alert model, open confirm model, open prompt model, open toast message buttons. Okay, let's do that. And now, Let's try to save this. So here we are missing. Yeah, comma. Yeah, let's do this. See here, I just added con alert is closed. Okay. Here, you can write any method or any functionality if you want to achieve once alert closed. That is the meaning of it. So here, just for example, I just gave console.log. You don't need to. If you have something to do, you have to write under then function. That's the meaning of it. Now, let's talk about handle confirm click. Same way, here I have handle, I mean I have lightning confirm dot open method. There I have message, label and theme, okay. And here also you have promise or then function here. There you can do something once user confirms, okay. Now, so here it has a, a result like a true false. You will see that. Now, let's do one more thing. What else we have? Handle prompt click simply. This is handle prompt click, lightning open, okay, and default value test. That means prompt means it expects or it takes the input from the user when it opens a pop-up, right? So here what I am doing, I'm just giving the default value as Salesforce textbook, for example. That means I'm trying to give default value, but still 
user can change the value and now once he gives the input and based on the input if you want to process something you can write here now post message simply this is not new guys we already have this from the beginning this toast notification okay just for example but to show you complete notifications i'm taking this example see here it's just a toast and success message nothing else and here we have a show toast event constructor with different attributes and then you are dispatching event you have to use this syntax for showing toast messages and now we have to expose this we have to expose this component to an app page let's use targets or you can configure targets whatever you can say anyway now let's save this now let's open our salesforce textbook instance i'm opening lwc or my demo application so here we have different pages anyway let me take this lwc examples page this app page guys and now i'm going to include our component here edit page now what's our component name display notifications right let's see let's wait for components yeah display notifications save let's go back so here open alert and open confirm model open toast message okay let's put inspect element let's remove everything okay now let's try open alert see it give the alert with okay button so once user click on okay button what has to happen okay if you have something to do after user clicks on okay then you have to write that functionality under then method okay here here okay that is why i'm giving console.log okay this is not for console.log guys for making you understand to do something or you can do something after user clicks on ok i i'm just giving you console.log here for every type of notification see here when i click on this alert is closed so it is giving you console.log instead of console.log you can define any functionality and now if i talk about confirm model see you have header and this is the message you give and when you click on okay it gives you true okay and when you click on cancel it gives you false here so based on these values if you want to do something you can do so that means here when user clicks on okay on confirm model box you will get the true value when user clicks on cancel you will get false based on this value if you want to process something you can process prompt see i defined a 
default value that is why you got this as a salesforce textbook you can say say sf textbook for example see you got that result so based on the user input if you want to do something you can go with the prompt model right so if you observe here we are not changing the behaviors of prompt or conform or model we are taking advantage of uh, uh, new modules from lwc okay and here open toast message say this is how a toast message displays okay it's like a information it may be error message it may be warning message we already have this in multiple places in multiple examples okay this is how you can work with multiple notifications in lwc now you have all alternative uh, notifications for native functions in javascript that is um, window dot alert window dot prompt window dot confirm for all these three native functions you have different things in lwc to show the same kind of models that is lightning alert lightning confirm lightning prompt i'm going to give you these descriptions under the video i mean this references also under the video if you want to go through that you can go through that there you can see different options for your attributes okay especially for theme let me show you one thing where you can see go to this for example if you go to lightning component library you can see different options here see here for theme you have a lot of values you can try with all these kind of theme values and you can test it based on your requirement you can take anything here this is how you can work with notifications let's recap guys okay let's recap what we learned here we learned different notifications in lwc recently salesforce introduced alert models and confirm models and prompt models which are alternative to native functions window.alert window.confirm and window.prompt in our javascript and we have different ways to um, to do alert models we need to import lightning alert from lightning alert module and you have to call lightning alert dot open method wherever you want to show alert same way for confirm models you have uh, you i mean uh, you have you have to import lightning confirm from lightning confirm a module and you can call lightning confirm dot open method wherever you want to show the confirm model or confirm message okay or confirm model and prompt when you want to show the prompt model you just need to import lightning prompt from the lightning prompt module and then you can call the method called lightning prompt dot open method with different attributes after that you have toast message you just need to import the show toast event from lightning platform show toast event module to show the toast notifications this is how you can work with that and i'll give you these references under this video for more information you can go through that and you can apply the same in your real time scenarios wherever it is needed please subscribe to salesforce techbook all the best